two days of extensive discussions. Senior officials addressed the initiatives raised by 21 APEC member economies. China alone raised 26. A special working group was formed to discuss a roadmap to a free trade area. That's concern about fragmentation due to existing multiple trade areas. As for how to achieve the Asia-Pacific free trade area, we've established a Friends of the Chair to discuss it, hoping to give concrete recommendations before economic leaders meet. But setting up a system in the first senior officials meeting is a great achievement. Delegates also discussed ways to help the region achieve innovative, sustainable growth. Maybe some advanced economies put more emphasis on protection of intellectual property rights, while developing economies expect more on technical cooperation and exchanges. But we were hoping to reach a balance instead of confrontation. We hope to boost international cooperation that addresses each side's concerns. A blueprint was also laid out to advance regional connectivity through expanding infrastructure, harmonizing institutional systems, and freeing up the movement of people. No concrete results yet, as delegates say, further discussion is needed on the initiatives raised by member economies. They say discussions during the meeting were very pragmatic. Three more senior officials meeting and nine ministerials meeting are prepared for the APEC informal leadership meeting in Beijing this November. Wu Guoxiao, CCTV, Ningbo, Zhejiang Province.